here. Welcome to 2017 edition of Irene the Queen. Today I'm gonna do a massive haul video. For the week surrounding Christmas, I went to my parents' house and hung out with my family and it was so nice because we live like 1,200 miles away. Don't quote me on that, I'm terrible with space, time continuum. I'm terrible at distance, but we live far away. Basically, it takes 24 hours to drive from their house to my house. We drove, I hung out with them, it was great, but also what was super cool is that my husband got me a gift card to Forever 21 and I made my sisters shop for me because they're young and cute and I am incapable of dressing myself. I'm pretty excited about all of this new clothes that I made my sisters pick out for me and I'm gonna show them to you. Also, I did a big massive Ulta haul because they kept sending me 20% off coupons and I mean if they're gonna keep sending them I'm gonna keep using them so I may have gone a little bit overboard but that's okay because it's the end of the year so why not I'm gonna go through Ulta first because I'm currently wearing the lip color that I just bought and I will probably have to freshen it up halfway through this video partially because I'll be talking whoops but also because one of my sisters got me this sweet Harry Potter cup Oh, my handprint changes it too, that's cool. Ta-da! So I'm gonna be drinking out of my cup and my lipstick's gonna wear off, so I'm gonna go through Ulta first. Does anybody else that's addicted to Ulta thrive off of those coupons at the end of the year? Like, I'm aware they're sending it to me so that I'll spend more money, but it's fine, it works. So good job to them for their marketing team. If you have sales and coupons, why not use them both? And then you don't feel that bad that you're spending money. But one of the first things that I grabbed is the TARDIS Pro Glow from Tarte. I love this palette. It is formulated without parabens, mineral oil, phthalates, triclosan, sodium, laurel, sulfate, gluten, and dermatologist tested. But look at this packaging. I have already used it, so it's a little dusty. Isn't it so cute? Let me see if I can keep this in focus. Then you open it like little double doors. Oh, it's beautiful. Don't mind my fingerprints on the mirror. Oh, I just think the package is so pretty, especially on the outside, that I'm probably going to keep it in its box in my makeup bag because I don't want the outside to get gross, but oh, I just love it. I actually ended up getting this palette by accident because I really wanted the Anastasia Glow palette, but they were sold out and they weren't going to get any more before Christmas, and I was too impatient to just order it online, and... I don't know, I just was impatient. I wanted to leave with something in my hand. Then I saw this one and I grabbed it and I'm really, really glad I did because it is beautiful. I did also get this Instant Comeback Facial Serum from Benefit, which if you watched my vlog, I think from like the middle of December, I purchased it that day. But look at this cute little bottle. And also this cute little box that it comes in. It looks like a Christmas present with its little topper. And this is because my skin looks super dry in the winter and I want to not look like I'm dehydrated. Then I got this Tarte Glossy Lip Paint, which I am currently wearing the... Oh, where did you go? I'm currently wearing the darker purple one now. I don't see a name on it. Okay, so this is WCW Tartist Glossy Lip Paint. And this is the color. Let's see if you can see that. And then they also gave the Tardis Creamy Matte Lip Paint. You know, I don't actually know if that's what the color is called, but this one is a lip paint that is matte. I'm not 100% sure those are the names, but it did come in this little package. I think it was actually by the checkout counter. So if you want this package, they probably, there we go. If you want this, they probably still have a couple left. Then, because I keep hearing everybody rave about it, I got the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I do love IT Cosmetics, so I'm really excited to try this one. I've been using Makeup Forever, which I've been happy with, but you can never have too much concealer, so I grabbed one. I grabbed the shade Neutral Medium because I wanted it mostly for my under eye circles. Obviously, I bought Bye Bye Under Eye, but yeah. I got the neutral so that it wouldn't make the purple under my eye look too green or muddy. Then I got the IT Cosmetics CC Illumination Cream, which I have used a couple times. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I got it because it has some shimmer to it and I it will help offset some of the dryness of my skin, 
but it might be a little bit too much glitter for my taste. And yes, I can't believe I actually said that, but it might be a little too much shimmer, but I'm gonna try it a couple more times and see how I feel. If not, it'll be really good for summer festivals when we play shows, so eh. It does have really good coverage though, I'll say that. This actually isn't an end of the year. I technically got it beginning of December, but it is the, and I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but the Andalou, and Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science Reversatrol Q10 Night Repair Cream. So this year, I'm going to try my best to actually wash my face at night, which I'm really, really, really bad at. I always fall asleep with my makeup on, and I mean, I'm getting old. My birthday's in like two weeks. I'm definitely feeling it in my face. So I'm gonna try really hard to make myself actually wash my face before bed, and this is just a really hydrating cream to put on after you wash. Makes your face feel really soft, so hopefully this will make me actually wash my face at night. I pretty much went on a tart spree this time because they used to say, yeah, we have a couple of items formulated without gluten, but we can't guarantee it. And lately, they have officially said that all of their products are formulated without gluten. So I did go on a binge of Tarte because then I know it's 100% safe for me. I got the Tartist Lash Paint Mascara. It is beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. I've already used this, so I'm probably going to toss the box now. I just wanted to show you what the box looked like. So here it is. It's kind of smushed from being thrown in my purse, but I love it. I don't know if you can see the brush, but it has that kind of brush. And it actually, I usually like more of a full brush, but this does really, really well at separating your lashes, but also keeping them close together. So, so far I have no bad things to say about this. I have been using L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof on my lower lashes, which that brush... In the L'Oreal, the brush is my favorite brush of all time, but lately, I don't know if it's because I've switched um, concealers and stuff, but lately I've been having little black dots for my eyelashes under my eye, even though it's waterproof, so that's not fun. But so far with that Tarte mascara, I've not had any of that, so I, I'm in love. I'm definitely in love. Ugh, it's beautiful. Then I have, don't need any more brushes, but because I have an obsession with makeup and brushes and all things. I had to buy this brush and I actually bought it to use with the CC cream. It is the Airbrush Buffing Foundation number 110 from IT Cosmetics and this sweet little case comes with it so it doesn't have to get all gross in your bag but oh my gosh it's the nicest thing ever. It feels really soft. It really spreads the CC cream super super easily. Oh and it just feels nice. And last but not least, from Ulta, I always love powder foundation. If I'm just getting ready really quick, powder is always my go-to because I'm too lazy to make sure all the liquid is blended well. So I did get the, the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. It is the 10th anniversary edition, so here's the outside of the box. The actual thing of makeup itself, since it's the 10th anniversary, is full of rhinestones. Come on, little buddy. The color I usually get is golden medium. It does fare pretty well winter and summer. It's just, I don't know, it blends well with my skin whether I'm tan or not. So always my go-to when I'm running late or I just don't want to do a lot with my face. And that's it for Ulta. And now I'm going to jump into Forever 21 and I'm just really excited. It's really fun to shop with people who have a different style than you but that you also enjoy their style because they pick things out that you would normally not grab yourself, and then they make you try it on. Well, if they're your sister, they make you try it on with no options not to. And they usually just, I don't know, it always looks so much cuter when they pick it out, so I need to just hire them, need, I can't speak words today. I need to just hire them to shop for me all the time, and then I will always look cute. If you hire your sisters for personal stylists, then just buy them coffee, but for the most part, they work for free labor. I have this absolutely baller black coat. Look at that fur. It's going to be marvelous. And also, the fur is removable. And the coat itself is still really cool. But, I mean, why have boots with a fur when you can have a coat with fur? It just makes you feel fabulous. I'm pretty excited to wear this. Also, my husband has a beard and sometimes I pet him because... 
I mean, there's hair there, so why wouldn't I pet it? And then he always says, stop petting me. So now I have a fur coat, so I can just pet this instead. I'm pretty stoked for that. Except the fur just made my hair staticky. I also got this necklace just because I thought it was really pretty. I love this little triangle. And I really like that it dangles and looks so dainty. I just need to untwist this. Forever 21 is amazing for jewelry because it's always super cheap. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. We just don't have one in town. And when I get a bunch of stuff from there, I have to go nuts. So, yeah. I'm pretty excited for this. Plus, it's all really affordable. I mean, you might not be able to wash it a hundred times, and it might not last you five years, but super affordable for a bunch of stuff. So, then you get more options. Ooh. Yeah, this one I have definitely worn already because I couldn't wait. So it might be dirty. But look at it. Isn't it perfect? In gold sequins, it says, Long Live the Queen. And I love it. Ugh. And I'm pretty sure if I could wear this every day and it be socially acceptable, I definitely would. This dress, I had it in my bag and then I realized I was getting a little carried away so I put it down and then my sister bought it for me for Christmas. Look at it. It's form fitting and stops right above blah, 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 blah. form fitting and stops right above the knee, but I think that that gold necklace with the arrow will be super cute with it. And also, I'm going to wear it probably with either of the leather jackets. So, yeah, I'm super excited for this. So, I also got this black shirt, which typically I don't like looser fitting things on the top, but my sister made me try it on. This is one of those things that I wouldn't normally get. She made me try it on and then just tuck the front piece in. And I was like, yeah, you look cute. You're a tiny body. And I actually thought it looked really cute on me. So I bought it and I'm excited to wear this too. Also, with these low rise, because I'm built bodily more like a spider where I have like tiny, tiny torso and all limb. So if I wear anything that is high waisted, I look like Steve Urkel. So I always have to get low rise or like 2001, almost disgusting, Christina Aguilera low rise. And then they fit me like normal human pants because I don't know, my waist is so weird. So I did find some low rise pants, which is really cool because all the pants lately are high rise. So, or high rise, high waisted. Yes, all the pants are high waisted lately. So I was really excited for these. They are ripped and really snazzy and skinnies, and I can wear this with either of my new leather coats, so probably wear these to death also. Then they had a 50% off sale rack, and I grabbed these t-shirt dresses. Oh my gosh, I grabbed one in green and one in black, and it has the little rolled sleeve cuff thing here, and it has a really high side split, which seems weird, but I'm really excited to wear this with just a black tank top and black leggings. And I really like green things. And I have one in black also that is the exact same with the side slit. I will wear both of these to death probably. Plus they make really good travel t-shirts and we have quite a few shows booked with Ilya's band. So I will be traveling in both style and comfort and that is amazing. And I think that's it actually for... for blah, 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 blah. That is it for Forever 21. That is a tongue twister and I don't know why. Too many fs sounds. We were leaving the mall and there's a store called FYE and I don't think they have an FYE in my town either but they do in Albuquerque because Albuquerque is just a cool city. But they have an FYE and I was walking past the store and they had a shirt that I had to get and the line was ridiculously long but I didn't care because you know why? because it was an all that shirt. And if you were born anywhere near 1990 or I guess 80s, 90s up to maybe mid 90s, then you watched all that. And if you didn't, well, you're just not that cool of a kid, not that cool of a 90s kid. But this shirt is a small and I think it's a men's. So it's too big and I, I literally don't care. I'm gonna wear this all the time because, let me stand. Yeah, it's just amazing. So I waited in line way too long for the shirt. And it was like a super sale. They're normally $25. It was on sale for 10. And it was buy one get one free because it was a day after Christmas sale. So the free one I got is also very much childhood for me themed. 
And it is a Nickelodeon shirt, and it has all the cool kids. Except I was never really allowed to watch um, the uh, real monsters because they were monsters. And they scared me, but I do like all of the rest of the characters, so... You just can't beat having Helga Pataki on your shirt. So I'm gonna wear this one too a lot because... I'm a giant child, and also I do have a major, not even a minor, a major obsession with baseball tees. And I just know, I'm excited, I'm so excited. New makeup, new clothes, it's a great way to start the new year. You guys tell me in the comments below what you got for Christmas or what you got at the end of the year during all the sales that you're super excited for this year. Whether it's new makeup or new clothes or a new haircut, whatever happened in this new year that is new for you that you're excited about, I want to hear about it, so let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try to get on a better posting schedule so that it's easier for you guys to know when my videos will be out. So when I have more of an idea of when that's going to be, I'll let you guys know. But until then, I will at least post one a week. That is my goal for the year. And you guys can tweet me or snap me if a week goes by and I don't post a video to remind me that, hey, you made a commitment to do this thing. We haven't seen anything this week. And that will help me stay focused. That's all. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and seeing all of these cool things that I purchased, then hit thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and please, for me, hit the subscribe button and a little bell will pop up. And if you hit that cool little bell, then you will be notified when I post new content, which will be once a week, like I said. So thanks again and happy new year. And let's go kick some 2017 butt. Bye.